A bar customer in Loda who identifies as transgender shows us her scars after getting beat up on the street. And tonight, police are searching for those attackers. Good evening. I'm Jim Benneman. And I'm Karen Lee. Joel Hillen joins us from Lodo tonight. And Joel, you did have a chance to talk with her today, so how is she? Karen, Amber Nicole is in pretty rough shape. Her face is partially paralyzed, her jaw wired shut. But she did talk to us about what she says happened early Sunday morning when she emerged from a bar and is asking for your help in finding the people responsible. We're just out trying to live our lives. Amber Nicole, who identifies as a transgender female, said she was harassed as she was leaving a bar downtown just after 1 o'clock Sunday morning. If anything happens... Cell phone video shows Amber almost gets into the car to go home. Keep recording, keep recording. But for some reason, she goes back toward the bar. You don't see the attack, only her friend helping her into the car. That's when she realizes that the two of us are covered in blood. The friend drives Amber to the hospital. Her mother, Jules Martinez, arrives a short time later. I was horrified to see my baby like that. And I just, all I could do was thank God that she was alive. But then I didn't even know what, if she would wake up. Amber's face and jaw were broken in several places. Like Nerve damage left the right side of her face partially paralyzed. Doctors don't know if it's permanent. And I was just angry. How? Who? Went, why? When Amber sees others nearby in the video, she wonders why no one came to her aid. There are so much people who can see an incident and stop it or do something about it or make a report about it, but nobody does. And I don't understand why. I just feel like because it's because I'm different. Denver police are asking anybody who was in the area of 20th and Market early Sunday morning who may have seen something to give them a call. As a reminder, anything that leads to the arrest or, or conviction of a suspect can give you an award and you can remain anonymous. Live in Denver, Joel Hillen, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Joel.